Lord, increase within us faith. And the Lord said, If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will tell this tree to um, root, uproot itself and be planted to see and will obey you. Today, as I told you in the beginning of this Mass, the theme of this liturgy is faith. That faith that comes to us through the power of the Holy Spirit that the Lord Jesus together with the Father has sent upon us from the day of baptism and confirm it in our confirmation and for some of us who are consecrated priests and deacons has been given to us by the Holy Orders. In the first reading today we heard the prophet Habakkuk who lived in a time when the chosen people were going through a struggle they were seeing their enemies is trying to overtake them and this prophet is saying to God, God, where are you? Exercise your power and finish them. And although there was terror and there was all kinds of situation going on, the Lord said to the prophet, don't worry. Wait and see what I can do. Don't look at the heights and how big these people and powerful these people are because I will finish them. I will finish them because I will fulfill my promise. In the gospel today we find Jesus tells us that we need to be unprofitable, unprofitable servants. That we have to really be obedient to him and do what he asks of us so that we will have not only peace in this life but life everlasting with him. But I'd like to really go to that second reading today because that reading today really touched me in a very special way. When St. Paul is trying to strengthen this young bishop, Timothy, whom he appointed Bishop of Ephesus. Remember, Timothy was picked by St. Paul on his second journey. And while the people tell Paul how this young boy is really very much cultured and very much stood about the Holy Scripture, how his mother Eunice and his grandmother uh, really helped him to know the Torah, know the Scripture, Paul fell in love with him and accepted him to be part of this companionship in the apostolate for the Gospel. After he baptized him, after he ordained him priest, now he sent him to Ephesus, a very well-known city of the time. But during this course of this thing take place, this young boy, a young boy who was in his 20 when he was made bishop, he find himself to be rejected and also troublesome with the situation he find. And people look at him because of young age and they try to discourage him from moving on in the apostolate for the gospel. And Paul heard this when he was in the prison of Rome. And all of a sudden Paul, like a man who knows how to really care for those who are going through a hard time, he himself takes the parchment and begin to write a letter to this boy and tell him exactly what he has to look up for and what is his role as a bishop. And here St. Paul said to him, Beloved, still within you the power of the gospel. Still within you this Holy Spirit that comes to you by my laying on my hands on you. And that is the ordination, the passing on of the orders. We don't receive a spirit of cowardice, but we receive a spirit of strength. Do not let them put you down. Do not let them intimidate you, but be strong in front of them. Because you have also a share with me in the apostolate, not only to preach it, but to share in the hardship that the gospel entails. Don't be ashamed of the gospel, and not be ashamed of me, a prisoner of the Lord. Because St. Paul is in prison. He is imprisoned because of the gospel he preached. 
Don't be ashamed of the gospel you preach and don't be ashamed of me. Because after all, you are what you are, what I make you. And so what you have received, make sure you pass it on without any doubt, without any hesitation. And keep this deposit of faith. Because after all, that is what we are called and entrusted with. We are entrusted to bring forth that teaching of Jesus who brought from the Father, who passed on to the world, and we pass it on from generation to the other. <coughs> May that Holy Spirit that is within us help you to accomplish this mission. I think that is a very, very uplifting and really show us to do what God wants from us to do. To preach the word and to also suffer for the word. If you want to follow me, there is one avenue and that is the avenue of the cross. Do not be afraid what they will say to you and how they treat you. I am with you until the end of time. It's not you who speak, but the Spirit of my Father speaks.